What are you going to do with your life? Now that you have no excuse, you know, all the excuses, that was the, uh, the other thing that happened in this program to me is that every excuse sort of just got taken away because uh, no matter what excuse you had, you still had the life on your hands that you had on your beforehand. And the excuse no longer was a reason. You just had your freedom to choose rather than come up with an excuse of why you couldn't act. And so once those are taken away from you, you're left with but one decision. What am I going to do with this one unique, unrepeatable existence that happens to have two kids, that happens to have a wife, that has, the, you know, has this obligation and that obligation and so on? You're just left, all of that is just dropped aside. And you're left with that solitary question. What are you going to do with this one unrepeatable? And what they talk about in this course is it doesn't matter what you choose. And that really, you know, threw me. Because surely there must be a right thing to do and a wrong thing to do. It must be right to go here and wrong to stay there, you know? No. You're just left with your damn decision. And it's the authenticity of that decision and the dialogue you have to have with yourself so that you're not justifying staying where you are because you were afraid to make this decision. And, that, and then they lay out what, what that meant, you know, of what it meant to live on the edge of history in which you create that which is required. And there are only two kinds of people, those who make a decision to be about creating and those who live off of the creation. Both are fine. The only question is, which one do you want to live? Do you want to live off of the life that others have done <laughs> and say thank you, thank you? Or do you want to be one that helps create the new? And by the way, nobody's going to say thank you, you know. <laughs> Somebody might, but it doesn't make any difference whether they know your name or re reflect or give you credit or what have you. It doesn't matter. So. That when that got combined, I had a new self-picture, a self-story of what the radical life meant. By radical, I don't mean social radical. I mean authentic, authenticity, the radical authenticity that was just available, had nothing to do with what you believed in, had nothing to do with what words you used, had nothing to do with anything other than the fact that you could embrace and you had the possibility of embracing the life that you have. And that, that changed me forever, ever and ever and ever.